Hello and welcome back to chess. We play against Bradlitz. And he's he started out at the King's Cien Shadow and then he's gone for something completely different. So, very well, I'll play your game, whatever it is. You want to bring your bishop out? Oh! You're doing something unorthodox! Well, first of all, there's this game against all too uncommon, in which I am offered a simple exchange. Well, wait, why can't I grab the bishop? Why can't I grab the bishop? Who, who why can't I not grab the... Whatever. And here, will I have the opportunity to threaten checkmate here if the knight moves? Here, then I can force it off and get the knight in here, blah, blah, if it moves there, there, at least the, or the pawn construction can be messed up, and if it moves here, then the monster, blah, blah! I finish you out for this game. Unless he, if he comes back, that's fine. Anywhere! What the hell are you doing, sir? You have, um... Done something uh, unexpected. Yeah, don't really know where you're coming from. But I aim to win this pawn game. <laughs> By the way, if you bow here, nice. You do this? Oh my gosh, that would really mess me up. <laughs> Not, I just move this forward. Yeah, you want to take? Oh, I just took you back and I control the setter with this nasty little. Pawn struck. Ah, but then the king's exposed. Oh, but then mine is too. Oh, yeah, oh, mine's really exposed. What the heck, man? Ah, we're going for a symmetrical position here. Yes, cut it down the middle. Are the queen and king stick up in this symmetrical position like sore thumbs? Knight B1, two D2. On faces. Oh, so you want to be all like. I don't know what a few channel is. I'm not going to try it. Very interesting, sir. Well, you threaten this space with your knight in this space with your knight. Well, this space is not as important as this space, and I can't even depend this space with another thing anyway. So I'm simply going to develop my knight piece right the heck now. Yes, right the heck now. You shall make the first move. For... As the, as the old saying goes, he who moves first loses. Now, considering that white is normally considered to have an advantage in chess, however, black is sometimes thought to have an advantage before that reason, and that reason alone, da, is obviously not true. Okay, is it not white's move here? Come on. I want to take this. Ah! What da are you doing? Whatever. You develop both your knights, so do I. Symmetry. Bishop Attained. F1, 2, G2. What the heck are you doing, man? Wait. I recognize this position. This is that position where black loses. Not a problem. You attack this piece. How dare ye. I mirror your move exactly. Oh, what do you think of that? Ooh. Now, why can I not move anything here? Am I glitched? I'm glitched. Ah, the stupid glitch. <coughs> I moved. Will you now feed? Oh, you castled. You could have been shouted to bishop. Oh, man. You realize that the king is actually safe in the center when you've got a closed game as locked up as this one is here? You do realize that, right? Uh, no, apparently it doesn't. Oh, well, whatever. I'm going to develop my last Peace. Once again, maintaining the initiative. And anyway, this formation here is solid. There's almost no way to break through if the enchanted king's bishop with full pawn structure. I mean, this is like a super pawn structure. I mean, it's, the bishop is basically like a very tall pawn here. It also has the ability to control the longest diagonal in the game. Whoa! Why would you do that? Are you stupid? Are you trying to get my knight to move here so I can attack your pawn for no apparent reason other than make your rook move up onto the side from whence it came? Or, 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 or whence it came? Sorry, from is whence is not accurate. 
Oops. Oh, you're trying to move your pawn forward. Well, that's very interesting, sir. Very interesting and all. You still can't do it. You still can't do it. All right, so what exactly do we want to do here? Obviously, this position is not going to last forever. Something at a time like this always breaks. What will it be? My mind? Bradlitt's mind? Something's gotta get moving. Or else this is gonna get boring. Well, my king is in not safe here, since I've opened up my position considerably. <gasps> Castle Kingside. Come on, it's just a solid move. Yeah. I don't want to have a slugfest here. They call it slugfest when you've got kings of opposite sight. And um, there is no slugfest here, because I'm, I don't want to go up against with him with a pawn slugfest. Basically, these pawns could advance against my king. I could advance against his king. His king's way more defended than mine is, so there's no way I'm going to go for a slugfest with you, sir. No way. Okay. All right. You've moved your bishop here. Well, in a close game, a knight is worth more than a bishop. Therefore, if I move here and his bishop takes, well done, sir. You've understood that. That being said, I don't plan on this game being closed for its entirety. So, I'm, I'm thinking that's good as we approach the end game. Yes. <laughs> Plus, these bishops are powerful in their positions. They hammer at my pawn structure. And indeed, I'm not very defended. So, also of note, this is, when I move my pawn here, this is his bad bishop, which makes this a not entirely awful trade. Indeed. Now, do I want to move forward or not? Well, um, it's a difficult decision, really, based on multiple factors. Um, would I even be able to win if we went for full massacre? Pawn moves forward, pawn takes, pawn takes, uh, knight takes, um, that stupid knight gets taken, duh. You lose the mind of peace, fool. So basically, we win that round. It's inevitable that I'm gonna, I'm gonna block out the, his control of the setter, I'm gonna claim it for myself. But which side do I want it to be on? Which side? Well, if it's on this side... Then, the result is that I have a pawn here and here, block effectively eliminating the effectiveness of this bishop for it is locked up and is really just a tall pawn. Um, can't move anywhere. Uh, if I do it here, this bishop becomes a tall pawn, but since it's not tied to king's safety, you can easily move out. Ooh, man, this is tough. All right, I don't care. I'm moving this forward. Arr! The games are so symmetrical. How can I possibly know what to do? Well, this exposes my king slightly more. So, yeah, it's kind of stupid. Oh, you're going to not be nice, are you? You're not, you're going to not, not make this simple for me, huh? Oh. How rotten. Well, this is awkward. I expected there'd be a huge confrontation and a great trading of material in pieces. No, it's not the case. Oh, awkward. Awkward. Well, uh, um, uh. Uh, well, uh, when you prepared for this eventuality, yes, what to do, what to do. Um, okay, uh, you are wanting, you are challenging on this square. Well, in a closed game, the challenge for control of singular squares is what it's all about. I move a six. Should have gone here. Know that now. Stupid. Although there's a high possibility that I'm simply... Uh, thinking that I did the wrong thing be to, uh, because of uh, factors. Okay, that's possible. Um, but yes, we actually thinking about it. I know I did the wrong move. This bishop could... What the heck are you doing? 
Oh, your pawn structure. Oh, it hurts so bad. Oh, no, what happened? I don't think she's doing that smarter move here. Then again, you've seen me lose countless games. Then again, they are not countless. Then again, the fact that I said they're countless, you should uh, factor in the fact, you, you should realize the fact that I'm not understanding exactly what's going on here. Move forward! Deny that he has any plan for facing off against my glorious positions. My central control versus his flank attacks. Will I challenge you on this part? And I you think I win. What the heck? Okay, that's, that's the kind of move I do not like. It's subtle. Indeed, it is very, very subtle. And those are the kind of moves that usually end up giving me epic doom. Yeah? I don't like that. There's something really messed up that this guy's planning. I don't like at all. Oh dear, it would appear that he's starting to think of things. Well, I can get your queen out of there, I can. I'll move here and your rook will move there. Done. Or, or, something else could happen. But what else would it be? What else would be happening here? Well, let's see. I can move my knight here, move it here. Knight can take it. No, we ain't saying that. That seems kind of pointless, actually. So, never mind. It can move here, and then, uh, then what? What, 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 do we, what do we do then? I, I'm a friend in a lot of of us. Okay, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, um, hmm. Hmm, what to do? All right, uh. You know what, the only piece that has not been developed yet is the Magnificent Queen. So let's get her out there. Yeah! Move your pawn forward. Make me regret ever, even having been born. Actually, that would... I don't I don't see how that would hurt. I'm, I'm just trying to think of ways. Oh, the bishop. Ooh. I'm just trying to think of... No, I can take it. Oh, easy. you did! Oh, you idiot! Ha! Ah! Oh, that's exactly what I wanted you to do. Uh, is it? Is it? Um. Hmm. Well, let's think about this. I can bring my knight up here. But indeed, it will be pinned. I will be walking in to a pin. Ooh, I wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't. Da. Well, um. Yes, I could just move my pawn up here and stymie your assault. Further closing up the game. And attacking your bishop for no good reason at all. But it would stop the very embarrassing attack on my queen. And also, rele re uh, also relegate the importance of my queen being here to that of non-existence. Yes, it is now doing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Did I say nothing at all? Because I think I should have said it's doing less than nothing. It is being a hindrance to my fluidity. It is cramping my style. Well, that sounds fair. Let's move it out of there. Goodness gracious. But where? Where can a queen move in a game this closed? Well, honestly, in a game this closed, queen should not really even be moving at all. Yes, my thoughts exactly. All right, um, yeah, this game is closed. Yes, I'm not very good at closed games. Okay, I've, I've learned to deal with them over time. Not going to say that means I know what to do with them. Exactly. I, I've learned, I've learned how, how they work, sort of. I, um, I know certain things, you know, I know... How the closed game is all about very careful, very subtle movements, about very careful thinking, about basically wasting your whole day and life. Notice, not a single piece has been taken by Easy move one, two, 15. Two, I've checkmated people by this time. Dude! Yes. Oh, you moved your queen back. See, that's the thing about these closed games, is... 
Stuff happens in the background, and you got no idea what the heck it's about. None. This this game could be re being run by a, by Chestnut. Oh, I must destroy my computer. Oh my. This game could be being run by Chess Master himself. I mean, that's this, that, this move could have very subtle consequences and stuff, but I don't think it is because, you know, he's made some moves which is like, hmm, questionable. Qu basically, I'm only saying questionable because if I was indeed playing as Chess Master, I would have lost by now. There's no doubt about that. Are you just waiting for me to do something? I think he's just waiting for me to do something. Isn't he? He's just waiting. For me to get some action going. Well, on any other day, that would be true. And on this day, it is also true. Come on, m at least move your queen more than one space. Oh, you couldn't. Ah, oh, ah, oh, the disgrace. You're so cramped. Your position is so awful. The only moves you could make is like moving your right over here, which would be an absolute pain. Oh, that would just that would wreck everything I've fought for here. Oh, my bishop would be so screwed. I'd have no way to kick your knight off of this very well defended position by two bloody pawns. No pawns of my own to kick it. No minor pieces besides this bishop, which I kind of like. To kick it out. That would be so brutal, man. By moving this pawn up here, I opened up a horrible gap. I forgot about the space left behind. Oh, what a hell! Oh, are you anticipating my imminent move, which will bring my queen to a position in assault on your knight? Well done, you saw an irrational person's ideas. You saw into the mind of someone who does not think properly. Well done! Well, uh, uh huh. Okay, well, last time I moved my queen up, you started messing with your pawns and stuff. I don't know what you did. You like to try to attack it, try to kick it. I'd like to irritate you like that again. Plus, the queen is an offensive attacking piece. It should always be on the offense, even when it's really stupid for it to be, like in a closed game. Also, I'm bloody bored, man. I haven't seen a single kill in all these moves. Now, uh, if you don't have a single kill by 50 moves, you are and not a single check either, not even a pawn movement, you are authorized by chess rules to end the, the match. Uh, 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 yes, realize now that the king is safer in the middle. Dude, what an idiot. Ah, uh, um, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. White? Nah, I got nothing. White? Nah, I still got nothing. White? Nah, nothing. Okay, so what would happen if I was to move my knight here? <gasps> Pure epicness! Do you see what I see? I see with the king here an absolute chance to get something done. Something. It's not much, it's not much. I'll be honest, it's not a whole lot. It's not even a smart idea. But it will get stuff done. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, it will get stuff done. Oh! Oh, your face! Oh, no! Loss of material for white imminent. Do you see the move which I am anticipating? I'm gonna move here. I'm gonna move here. I'm gonna move here. And I'm gonna move, move here. Checkmate. Obviously, if I move here and here, the knight can take, pawn takes, bishop takes, queen takes, I'm up two minor pieces. He loses. The, if any piece, if the bishop takes, will I take a bishop? I move my pawn here. Attacks the knight. The knight is forced to move away. And I win today. Not. But oh well. 
So basically, I'm, I'm just trying to understand, should I move here and then there, or should I move the other knight in first? I'm thinking I move the other knight in first. Yes, I move the other knight in first. <laughs> Wait. Was that intelligent? Oh yes, it was because I'm I'm, I'm planning on moving here. Right. I don't know if there's anything else more intelligent to do, but that is intelligent. Okay, so I moved the knight in here. I moved the knight in here, threatening checkmate. Whoa, dear. Ooh, interesting. Wait, did you seriously just block your rook in? What an idiot! For you see, when I move here, I would be able to take the rook. If he does not take with one of his minor pieces. Now, if I move here, what, uh, what change? How does this change in that circumstance? Are there any, are there any changes at all? Hmm. Hmm. Um. Well, I mean. Okay, so I move here. Right. He moves a bit the knight here. We have a, a clearage of materials. So move. All right, all right. I need. This is a complicated point for me. I have a chance to win here. So let's think about this. If I move here, he moves here. I take that. Forks this and this. If he takes with the bishop, I win. Two minor pieces. If he moves the bishop, I take the knight. Forking is too because he can take, and that's fine. That's the end of that. If he moves this, where can he move it? He can move it here. But which attacks my queen, so meaning I normally have to meet my queen, except I can take his bishop with a check, which has precedence. <coughs> oh, over a queen threat. <laughs> you cannot take my queen, you must take the pawn, or move your king here, or whatever. <laughs> so that's what happens if a knight takes. If a bishop takes, things get a little more interesting. How interesting depends on what happens next, as always. But of note is that um, I can take with the pawn, which forces his knight to move. And okay, I move here. The knight moves. The uh, the bishop takes. If the queen comes here. Then we've got a um an interesting point in that the knight can move here, and then I'm threatening checkmate. Okay. Hold on. If I do move right now, he might move here, and then the rook can get out, and then and then bloody hell, and it's not enough force in his hand enough. Now I don't mean it's not epic what I'm doing. It just means that there might be a way out or something. I don't know. Basically, this is a win move, so let's go and do it, yeah? I know I win with this. The question is, and this depends on what you do, White. The question is, how much? And the answer, of course, the answer is how much. Um, to, um, to, to the question of how much, no, no, the answer is not how much. The answer is, how much damage will it do? I mean, no, 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 no that's not the answer. The answer is the number equal to... Uh, the variable, oh, how much three, damage two, will- Oh! Oh, you bastard! I'll get you for that! Oh. The bastard. Now that's actually a smart move. Not. Now you've thought you've fought hard to prolong the inevitable. I know you have. But if my queen takes, but da, what, what has even changed here? Dude, I don't get it. I don't honestly get it. If my pawn takes, uh, uh, if my knight takes, threatening checkmate, just saw a there, there. If you take this, then, uh, Wait, what? Should the knight take then? If the knight takes, and the knight takes, 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 pin knight, goes there, has authorization, and it goes here, I can take this, takes, 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 
Um, I don't think I come out ahead on this one. I don't come out behind. No, I do. Yes, I do. No, yes, yes, I do. Okay. I think Night Takes just makes this needlessly complicated. I know I have a winning position here. There's no reason to boss this up, yeah? Yeah. So basically, if I move the queen here, that's pressing my advantage. That's basically saying to White, you die. <laughs> now, you see, he takes it with the bishop. I'll take it here. He moves tonight. And what we got? What we got? Where we all just finish out? Yeah, we got a uh, we got a, a position here where we can we can win. All right, not gonna elaborate on that just now, but uh, if we happen, I can guarantee it. Win imminent. Is that smart? I can always bring the queen in, but if I move the pawn in, I've got yet another a pawn to bring doom with. Now, that's a very interesting point. A very interesting point indeed. Um, yes, not sure. Not sure how it is. I fix the game. But, um... Ah, uh, uh, so complicated! Uh, I'm sorry, but I see epic win happening here. Okay, um, so if I take, if I take here yeah, with the pawn here, and he takes with the bishop, then I can take with like this, or like this, obviously better move. He takes, I take, uh-huh, and we win. Okay, ah! I think the pawn is a winning move, but then it leaves this up in the air. I no longer win this. Oh, big whoop! Big, big whoop! Still, it is a whoop, and this is also a big whoop, and having pawns could also hamper my minor pieces, which have a winning attack. You know, say the bishop, for instance, lining up with the queen on this square. That, moving the pawn here, uh, uh here, blocks my queen by one move from getting to this base, and time, as always, is of the bloody essence. Also, if he takes here and I take here, I threaten in a knight. Then also, checkmate. Oh dear. Knight here moves here. I move there. Dude, was I just talking about how you're going down in flames or not? Right. So he takes with a pun. He takes, I what bloody hell he loses. Um, yes, basically all there is to this. The pressure's on you, Bradlitz. What will you do to me? <laughs> so weird sounding. All right. But seriously, though, what are you going to do? This is my first closed game I've recorded, and it's been very closed. And, and re right now it's opening up like your mama. Ooh! <clears throat> But yes, if you, any way you move the knight, I mean, well, I mean, you can move it here. And that pretty much shuts me down, except I can still move here, which does a whole lot of nothing, except meaning that I can just check you, you can move here, you can block it, you have to move here, I move here, win. No, because you're blocking my bishop, right? But I move here, win. So basically, I'm threatening a mate here, and then here, I'm threatening a mate here, I'm threatening a mate with the bishop in here. Um, well, actually, there's a knight there. Didn't realize that. But, the, right, the knight's gonna get dead. Or I'm gonna take it. Or something's gonna happen that, uh, he doesn't, he doesn't live there anymore. It moves. Or something. Something's happening. It's stuff. Uh, I win. You know I do. I have no... Uh, Alright, I'll be honest. Since I learned how to play closed games, I've lost a few. I win the majority. Because that's uh, what I've what I've noticed is it is far more common for someone of my diff of my rating twelve fifty one to be bad at closed games. Okay, they tend to be good, but since closed games, especially in America, are rare, they tend to be bad at them. Now he may not necessarily be from America, but I am necessarily winning this match, dude. You are authorized to take as long as you want. Heck, I've spent nearly an hour thinking this all over. Yes, yes, it is nearly an hour. 
so you may do whatever the heck you want to do, man. I have got another game to attend to. Yes, what was it against? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Was it, who was it against? Was it against Lulazem? No, it was against Zezatel, no, yes. Oh, me thinks that my opponent all too uncommon resigned and that's why I could not move. Is that true? No, it's not. It doesn't show. Well, yes, it does. Forty minutes ago, I won, which is the beginning of this episode. A win. All I had to do was just look and see that I had indeed won. That time when I stopped the when the game stopped, and I was wondering why it was taking so long. It's not that he moved. It's simply that he had resigned, as I thought he should have. Yes. Yes, very nice. Uh-huh. And have you resigned, sir? Brad Litz, would the game even tell me if you had? Well, I do believe it's still your turn, so you probably have not resigned. But let's be absolutely certain about this, yes? Normally, it does not tell me immediately. Why don't we simply open up the game again, yes? We'll have to close it out, and just, just in case you move, because you're taking an uncharacteristically long time to move, and I, I'm thinking that you of your impatience is messing with me or so. I don't know what has happening here, but I do, I do know it's not good. Yes, um, yes, and I thought your king was so safe here. Ah, oh, oh, your king's safety, but as soon as your pawn moved out here, I just knew it was screwed. And then when you moved your pawn here, I was all like... Oh, Oh my gosh, so you're serious. He originally I thought he was breaking my epic assault, but no, no. And that's so you see, audience, even in cases of closeness, even when not a single piece has been taken after, what was this, 20 moves? 20 moves, yes. After 20 moves, not a single piece taken. Even in that, even with that many pieces moved out on the board control, being fluttered about everywhere, you can still mount an incredible and incredible assault if your enemy is an idiot and starts making stupid moves. Yes, it's it's brilliant, it's wonderful, and um, as a game it needs, I need it needs to move forward. Yes, it, let's move it forward then. Pretend uh, it's just. Uh, stop talking like that! Yes, that was a. Oh my gosh! Sorry, you have to show that! Don't really have to do that! Was that, was that really necessary? Ah! No! Hold on, might as well look and see how bad the damage is. Come on, what did I show you? I did, didn't I? Wait, it's my turn! Where is it my turn? It's not my turn, you lost! You gave up, uh... Didn't you? You wait for me moving, son, and you just resign, I think is what happened. It's not my turn at all, you idiot! I can't move! My oh, gosh. Right! Let's check this out, then. Um, yeah, I don't really want to start a match. I want to see... Okay, so this game is still in progress, eh? Are you seriously taking this long? Are you really serious? Oh! Oh, heck yeah! You did that thing that I knew ended an epic fail for you! Because, may I remind you, when I move here, there is absolutely no way for your king to... For this check to be blocked, you cannot take my queen. Your king cannot move here. You cannot move here. Can I ask to move here? And then there's only one move that makes sense to me. That's right. You will just walk your way into an early checkmate. Yes. How many pieces were even taken in this game? Oh, just three. Dude. You lose. <laughs> Booyah. <laughs> auto match player has been defeated by auto match player. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna take so long editing out the bar on the right for those two times. See, because I hacked into someone else's email, and of course the notifications showed that person's email. No, his phone I hacked in the email. They would never know. But it's showing that I act in it. It's showing who they are. 
they're gonna know I hacked in their email. They're gonna find me out and come to my house and then they're gonna burn my cat down. No! I don't have a cat. <laughs> Idiots. Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.